All right, so today's legal terms of today are colored, color bow, colored, color bow. Pay attention. Color, an apparent, semblance, or synchronicrum, as distinguished from that which is real. A prima facie apparent right, hence a deceptive appearance, a plausible, assumed exterior, concealing a lack of reality, a disguise, or a pretext. Colorable. Okay, colorable. That which has or gives color. That which is in appearance only and not in reality what it purports to be. A counterfeit, a fiend, having the appearance of truth. So whenever you hear the expressions like color of authority, it just means that somebody is perpetrating and operating in a criminal or deceptive manner. They may appear to have an authority, but actually in reality, they lack that authority or delegation to operate in such capacity. It's the same thing with the color of law. Whenever you hear this expression, it just means that somebody is appearing to operate in a lawful capacity, but actually are operating totally corrupt, totally deceptive, totally counterfeit, and they actually actually lack a legal right. The same thing with the color of office. Somebody who is operating in the capacity that appears to be a legitimate officer, but are actually a fraudulent, deceptive person or being who's operating in a unjust or colorable capacity. And for those who may not be aware, you can make a reference to the deprivation of rights under the color of law regulating you for Title 18, United States Code, subsection 242, 243, etc. cetera. Uh, this is for anybody who wanna make a reference whose rights may have been violated under the color of law. Or I would say something like the so-called magistrate was operating in the color capacity when they violated my constitutional rights and deprived me of my right to due process and instead chose to enforce colorable code statutes, ordinances and policies. I intentionally chose to use this term last because I had already known how many of us have been colorably lied to, manipulated, and coerced and made to believe that the term colored was an identity or the term colored person was an identity or the term black synonymous was an identity when in fact, to the contrary, it is absolutely not. So let's get into it. The term colored by common usage in America, emphasis is America. This is a term in such a phrase as colored persons, the colored race, colored men, and the like is used to designate, which means to classify, used to designate so-called Negroes or persons of the African race, including all persons of mixed blood descendants from the Negro ancestry. Uh-oh, it's getting deep. Because it goes on to say that colored, it has been held that there is no legal technical signification to the phrase colored persons in which the courts are bound to judicially know. What? 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 Checkmate. Got him, coach. We don't got to argue the facts. There is no such thing as a colored people, a colored race, or a colored person, or rights of colored people, period. These are all brands, these are labels intended to solely misclassify and to denationalize indigenous and aboriginal peoples. There is nothing in nature that solely identifies itself by its pigmentation or the complexion of its skin. The world comprised of people are identified and recognized by their national identities, which ties to their nationalities. When we talk about insects, we talk about animals, we talk about life in general, it's identified by its pedigree, by its bloodline, by its lineage, not by its complexion. So here it is that many of us have been led to and induced and manipulated or colorably coerced into binding to an idea that we are somehow black, Negro, colored, African, African American, or even what you call so-called Native American. But these are all terminologies meant to alienate and meant to literally denationalize you which is a process where someone is colorably or a group of people are colorably deprived of their national identity, their national lineage, their national language, etc. 
And as a result, they are forced to assume and identify and adopt other foreign ideologies, other foreign languages, other foreign concepts and information. And ultimately, they are alienated from their own land, alienated from their own people, alienated from each other. This is what colonization has done. But this is all done under the auspices of what is known as the color of law. It's all colorful.